could do so. And thank God that we have some sheriffs who said they refused to yes. enforce this thank order. You. Hey, listen, police officers, we backed you. You hold the line now for us. You arrest someone for leaving their house, you won't have our support. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yep. want to be clear about that. You are now the defenders of our freedoms. You're not just enforcing the law, you are enforcing the constitutional liberties of all Americans. If you have a governor, if you have a mayor who is saying, arrest that man because he left his house to yeah. go purchase baby formula, whatever the hell it is, you need to say no. Right. Yeah. Otherwise, absolutely. we have a problem with you. If that happens on a national level, you will see, and I do not want it to come to this, you will see unrest like you have never seen in this country, and you know what? You've always got to give a, 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 an injured tiger an out. Don't back him into a corner. Yeah. If you tell Americans that they have to stay home or face arrest, I don't know what other options they have at that point. Because right yeah. now they're going through the courts. You don't want them to. They're going through the, uh, the, the courts of public opinion. You ban them from the courts of public opinion in big tech. You have video evidence of election fraud. You have affidavits. You have statistical evidence. You try and get before a judge. They just dismiss it. And then if you actually on a national level say we're going to lock you in your homes, well, the courts don't work. Well, the public opinion uh, uh, doesn't work. The yeah. town square is no longer available to them. What option do they have? Don't do it. Right. Yeah. And it's, it, yeah. 